This is my home, home port here. This is Shelly Beach at Nambucca Heads. No one knows about it. That's the best part about it. Um, it's pretty good all year round. You can always sort of count on snapper to be somewhere. You can yeah, just hit different reefs and you find them. And there's always sort of reef fishing chase like Venice tusk fish or parrot fish and pearlies. There's, there's always sort of a few mac tuna and bonito around if you want a bit of fun. My name's Liam Williams. I'm from Nambucca Heads. I work for Nambucca Valley Council in the water and sewerage department. I'm born and bred here. Probably nowhere else I'll get the um, diversity of fishing we get here. We get so we get all our winter species and like all the good snapper fishing and you turn around. Summertime you get all your marlin, wahoo, spanish, spotty mackerel. They all sort of turn up here. And sort of meet middle of the sandwich here. We're sort of about five hours from Brisbane, five hours from Sydney. So it's not too far away, but it's far enough away you don't see too many people. It's good. It's hard, hard to launch, hard to hard to retrieve, the bar's not never really good. That's why I think that's why it's sort of a bit of a hidden gem, not too many people fish it and the captain boys come up for a fish and um went out early and targeted a few on plastics. Oh there's a red Fish a lot more sort of, at the moment we're fishing sort of gravelly bottom, so I'd like to get the lure right down towards the bottom, sort of hop it along. As you seen that fish, I just give it a couple, imparted a couple of hops, and then it just smashed it. Then we sort of moved it wider, chasing sort of more bottom dwelling fish, like our Venice tusk fish and pearlies. I've got one really nice pearly and a, and, um, a nice Venice tusk fish too, so. These parrot fish or Venice tusk fish, pretty much my, one, one of my favourite eating fish off this part of the coast. These and pearl perch are the best eating fish I reckon off, off these waters. Best thing about them that you catch them on the real light gear, like you can use the exact same rods used for snapper. We're just using a 4500 with a PE one to three rod. And um, yeah, you can catch them on plastics, jigs, everything. We got probably five or six good snapper, missed a few bites, just couldn't capitalise on them. Missed a couple and bitten off a couple of times and it's just perfect boat for this situation. Like it's a 5.2 AWM. It's an 06 model. It's got a Belco trailer under it. Off-road trailer. You don't really need it, but it does make it a lot, lot easier. So they don't get bogged down in the sand so much. It's got a four-wheel drive winch on it, so you don't have to wind it on. makes it a bit easier too and um, run to fender boys just so um, just pull it up on it to hold the boat straight when it wind on it doesn't tip over as much so it sort of comes on the trail a lot easier it's got a six mil hull bottom um, self grounding deck it is wet that's the center, the center console it's perfect for you it's not too big it's not too small yeah you can get out and chase chase marlin and stuff out wide on the shelf on a good day and then just tuck in here and catch snapper and everything when it's a little bit nasty. So yeah, me on the back, 100 horse Yamaha, Yamaha, so. No, I've had, so I've had this one, a trail craft, and I had a Riptide um, Cuddy Cabin. It was 5.2 as well. It's a great thing to get in. You can go out and catch a feed of fish, fresh fish, everyone wants fresh fish. And it's good when you hook a good snapper and the drag screaming off and you, Fishing a heavy bit of heavy bit of ground in sort of 10, 15 metres, and you know you got to pull him up before he gets to it. I like taking people out and show them new techniques too. That I've shown a couple of just strictly bait fish shows how to actually catch fish on um, snapper on plastics and that, and I just love it. The tuna bus up over here. There's a whale out there. And a snapper beside the boat. What else do you want? Probably one of my best fishing tips for fishing here is um. If you can find out which way your current's going and you've sort of found a reef, try to fish the front edge of the, where the current's pushing into. Hopefully there's a bit of bait stacked up on it. If you've got bait stacked up, the snapper won't be too far away. You just got to work them out and see where they are. Like, they'll be on the front edge of the bait or on the back, sort of hanging around it. So Just um, always keep in contact with your line because it might be just the tiniest little pack and it could be an eight kilo snapper or 
could be a two kilo snap of it. Yeah, it could be anything. Just feel, keep in contact with it. Just make sure you can feel your line. Don't be afraid to change it up. Like we we're chasing snapper on plastics morning, and it was a little bit, a little bit quiet. We got a few, but it was a little bit quiet. So then we changed up to um, do a bait fishing. It would be five minutes, ten minutes after we started throwing some burley, and we started catching some nice sort of kilo and a half, two kilo snapper. I'm running all pen slammers, slammers fours. So I've got a 2500, um, that's my light snapper rod. Um, it's running 15 pound braid and I've got a, a 3500 20 pound. And I've got two 4500s, one, one a light jig rod. Usually run it for um, bottom bashing and light jigging. And then I've got a PE two to four as well, which I usually use out a bit wider for your barcode pearlies. Light slammer, they're durable. Got the IPX rating, six rating in them. Awesome salt water, like it so, handles salt water so much, which you sort of need in a centre console boat. It does sort of get wet a fair bit. Um, affordability, they're not overly overpriced. They're really strong, like you can throw any at them. I've been running them since they come out, and I can't fold them. They're an awesome reel. Got really smooth drag, heaps of drag. I'm pretty rough on my gear. I just give them a hose and chuck them back in the rod rack. I like getting new lures and test them out. Like thing, thing I love about um, being looked after by Pure Fishing, which is Penn Berkeley, and that, getting the new gear and testing it out and seeing if you can break it. I love doing that. This is my little fellow Vance. He's just, he's just on one, as you can see. He's not very wild. Anybody is young. He's pretty cruisy. I can't wait until I get a bit older and get more into it, and I can take him out and catch a snapper and. Their first fish, their first different species, and yeah, it's awesome.